playing a lot of guys, which mm -hmm. is, which was always it's always been your goal. Just yep. how do you how do you how, what have you seen from the rotation? What do you like so far through these two games, and what what your line has done? You know, I think it's been you know I've, I've, I've liked the effort. I wish you know certainly the outcome in the first game would have been better. I thought we, there were some good things, but as a team, it just wasn't consistent, right? And, and that's when you lose close ball games. So I thought we you know we, we played a cleaner game. Obviously, the opponent wasn't you know what it was the first week, but you know, I just thought last week we came out and, and fixed some of the things that, that caused us problems and um, got us feeling better about ourselves. But as a whole, you know, I've been been pleased with you know the first group has done some good things, as have you know the, the second group. But there's a lot of room to, to grow and keep coming along, and I do think the depth will pay off in the long run. Um, you know, when you are playing a lot of guys, sometimes it's hard to get into a smooth rotation. Um, but you know that, that, that's, that comes week in and week out. So um, I, I'm, I'm pleased as, as much as you can be after two games, being one and one. And uh, we got a huge challenge this weekend. It's a really good football team. As I told our guys, you know, I'm not a big gambler, but you always look and see what what the people out there think about you, right? It was it was even for a few days, and now we're the underdogs. So I just I've reminded them that two or three times today. And um, but again, they're a good team, right? They're a good team, a quarterback. Uh, six is, is playing really well. Obviously, 34 is a game breaker. Uh, the line's protecting, you know, uh, the quarterback. Uh, defensively, I haven't really watched him, but it sounds like they're getting after people. So, uh, going to be a huge challenge and one that we're looking forward to. How have you felt about the emergence of any pass rushers? Do you think stepped up and been your early season pass rushers? You know, it, I don't think we have a guy. I mean, Scotty Humpich obviously had a big sack against Penn State. Um, he's got the ability to get on the edge and beat guys one on one. Um, I think Kadron Jenkins, KJ, is, is improved. Um, he had the first, you know, third down, you know, where he forced a hold. Uh, did a nice job coming around the right tackle and forced him to step up and got a holding call. Uh, we've, cre we've created a lot of pressure, um, and the sacks have come from different people, right? Jack had a nice, you know, speed to power last week uh, on a second down call, second series. Mm -hmm. uh, Corday had got got in on one, so we're seeing guys. I don't know if we're, you know, certainly we're not going to have a, a George Karloftis mm -hmm. out there that's just going to demand, you know, two people block him on every snap. Uh, but I think we've got some guys that can win some one-on-one -on -one battles. I just think we need to be more consistent. We're trying to to roll different packages in there to get, you know, to get our best personnel on the field. And sometimes we're moving some people around, and and that's still a work in progress. So um, I say just like. You know, it, it comes after a couple games. There's, there's been good and bad, and we still gotta, uh, we gotta create more opportunities. Again, I, I just think, you know, I don't know. If people don't like to hear this, but I think sacks are overrated. But I think we need to keep the pressure on quarterbacks. We need to make them uncomfortable, get him off the spot, clean hits, batted balls, the whole thing. Again, I want as many sacks as anybody. Um, I think they'll come if we keep playing, you know, together as a group. What the. What's Prince's role? Did it change a little bit when Demarge went out? And what have you seen for him these first two games? You know, I my my thought on Demarge coming in the season when he's going to spend more time at nose. Now, he certainly you know backed up Branson a lot last year, and certainly had that ability to do it. But obviously, when when Demarge went down, that that you know that forced Prince to step up, and, and I thought he played uh, really good the first week. I thought he relaxed a little bit last week and wasn't as, as detailed, even though he had a couple tackles for loss. Um, and he knows where I, where I am with him. You know, I'm on Prince hard because uh, I think he can be a pretty consistent player for us as a backup to Branson. But he needs to, to focus and be detailed every time he takes the field. And, and sometimes he, he doesn't do that. And I think he sells himself short when, when he does it. But he's, he's a talented guy. He's got some, some explosiveness to him uh, when he plays with his pads down. and. Uh, Again, uh, pleased to this this point, he just needs to keep challenging himself every time he steps out there for us. Well, what have you liked from Nick Carraway and Mo Amonade, your two true freshmen? Uh, guys that I think will continue to get better the more they play. Um, you know, you step out there, your first collegiate experience, you're playing against Penn State. I mean, you can get a little starry-eyed at times. Those guys didn't bat an eye. So I think, you know, continue to roll those guys in and uh, like them both. Like a mode, I think uh, you know Nick. Now we're trying to start to train at both spots, mm -hmm. so it's not just into the boundary. But I think he can, you know, go to the field for us, and and uh, it's just going to get him on the field more. Mm -hmm. And with Mo, I think he's a nice change up. 
Um, you know, his 288, 290 is, is a little bit more compact than some of our other guys, but he gives us nice mobility in there, uh, especially when people are throwing the ball. So um, pleased with both those guys. Like I said, I think they're going to continue to get better and better every time they step out there. You have a lot of depth, but do you feel like you have a lot of versatility because in the Penn State game you were, you know, you had, you moved, I think you moved Jack inside for a couple mm -hmm. snaps, moved some other guys that sure. are on the end. But well, the just, versatility that you have along with that depth. Sure. No, I, I think we've got to be able to do that. And obviously, Jack's a real smart guy, so you move a guy like that around uh, to just create some matchup problems. Um, it allows us to get another fast guy out there on the edge, and you can bump, you know, Jack or Corday, or, you know, inside. Again, that might be a, a time that Mo comes in the field, and you get LJ or, or you know, Cole off the field just to give a little bit more mobility at the nose spot. So we we've got different combinations. Again, I talked about. Nick being able to play both the Leo and the end spot, I think that's just going to, you know, the more we can move him around. Uh, but he's a big athletic, physical guy, right? And he loves to play football. So uh, we got to keep finding ways to get him more snaps. Do you call that your posse formation? Do you have a phrase for that? Uh, you know, sometimes people call it posse. They talk, call it a cheetah front. They call it a speed group. I mean, yeah. you have your, your, your name, whatever you want it to be. But... Um, you know, we uh, our guys get excited. You know, it's usually going to be more of a third down package, but um, there's other times we can get it on the field too. So. What's Cole showing you so far? Big, strong, young man, and I think when he plays with good technique, he's pretty stout in there. Um, so I've been been pleasantly surprised. I thought, you know, he certainly was very motivated that first game to to yeah. go out there and uh, you know go against the team where he spent two years and. I uh, thought for the most part he, he did some, some good things. Again, just like a lot of our young guys, they just got to continue to to hold themselves to the, to the standard that we talk about. And uh, it's not just being happy to be out there, you know, taking snaps. It's it's going out and playing championship football. And our older guys help those young guys with them. Uh, I think the biggest thing for a young person who hadn't played a lot at this level is just the, the focus day in and day out. Cause you know, these guys have a lot going on, right? Mm -hmm. you know, it's really two full-time jobs when you're playing at this level. Going to school by itself is a full-time job. So, um, you know, like I said, I've been pleased with most of our young guys. I think they're, they're coming along pretty good. Uh, you already mentioned uh, just preparing for uh, Syracuse running back Sean Tucker. He's a guy who's leading their team in both rushing yep. and receiving so far through two games. Just what are the challenges for uh, the defensive line preparing for a guy that just does so many different things for a type of offense like that? Well, let's be honest, right? I mean, we've got to shut down six and 34. Mm -hmm. And I think people that get so focused on Tucker, and rightfully so, I mean, he's a game breaker, you know, not just running the ball, but they're throwing it to him out of the backfield. Mm -hmm. He had a long one against Louisville. Uh, Schrader's creating a ton of plays back there. Uh, his completion percentage is off the charts. I think he's only missed 10, 10 passes in two games. Uh, they're over 50% on third down. He's creating plays with his feet. He's extending plays. So it's a double-edged sword, right? And, and if you devote solely to 34, then six is going to pick on you. If you devote it all to six, then 34 is going to be hitting you left and right. So um, it's it's going to take a, a huge effort by everybody. You know, we got to play. Just you know, for the most part, do what we've done for two games. Now we've got to again tackle, right? You got to tackle 34 in space. You got to keep six in the pocket easier said than done because mm -hmm. you want to let it loose up front but you also got to stay in your rush lanes and not create big openings like we did with with clifford in that first week so um it's a challenge mm -hmm. but again our guys are excited to you know to get on the plane and go to new york on friday and, and get you know flip the coin on saturday go out there and let's play so